Hey everyone, Gator Mom here. I have a really exciting review to share with you today. I have teamed up once again with Lily Jade to bring you guys one of their fabulous diaper bags to share. I have the Rosie today, and this has been a highly requested video on my channel. I know a lot of you have seen some of the other reviews that I've done by Lily Jade Bags, and a lot of you have requested the Rosie. I don't see a lot of reviews on this particular style Lily Jade out there, so I was really excited when they decided to send me this particular style to review for you guys because I absolutely love it. Hands down, I hesitate to say this because of my obsession with Lily Jade, but this may be my favorite Lily Jade bag. I do really enjoy the Madeline bag. That seems to be one that I grab for a lot, but this one I have been using like crazy ever since I got it. So today I have it packed up for all three of my kids. I have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old, and this truly is the Mary Poppins bag. You can fit so much stuff in this bag, but yet you don't have to pack it really, really full for it to remain this awesome, like structured, slouchy shape. I, I absolutely love it. It's really buttery and soft. The leather is just super, super high quality. So I have everything in this bag for my kids packed up inside the baby bag insert, which you'll see in the inside. So what I've been doing recently that works really well for me is I will keep everything for them inside the insert and I pull the insert out like when Monday rolls around since I am a working mom and I will put the insert inside another tote bag so I have a full ready to go diaper bag if we go out to eat at night or things like that and then everything else inside the bag and inside the zipper pockets that's all of my stuff so it remains perfectly where it needs to be inside my handbag and I can grab and go and then at night I can pop the insert in and it's just it's been working really, really awesome. So on the front of the Rosie here, you see this strap attached. This is the optional messenger strap that comes with the Rosie. So you can go ahead and have it adjusted where it fits your body to where it cross body, which is how I have it adjusted right now. Sometimes if I need to go hands-free, I will go ahead and wear it um, cross body, or you can just have it adjusted a little shorter if you want a little bit longer of a shoulder strap. This, of course, is, the, is an optional um, way that you can carry this bag. Nine times out of of 10 though I'm going to be carrying the Rosie with these two tote straps I find them very comfortable I like the width of them I like the drop length on the strap it just fits really comfortably underneath my arm and then attached to the tote straps you have these nice two buckles here and then of course the signature Lily Jade tassel which adds so much um, kind of just chicness to the bag. I absolutely love it. It makes it look, look so luxurious, I guess. But I have um, inside this front pocket things that I grab for rather quickly. So inside here I have my iPhone 6 Plus. As you can see, I mean plenty of room. You can fit a ton inside these pockets. It kind of depends on what you have packed on the inside as to how much room you really want to stuff these front pockets. But I like to use them as catch-alls. I have um, my keys in there. I also have a little Advil I stuck in there earlier, um, a chapstick and a hair tie. So like I said, it's odds and ends, things that I grab for pretty frequently. On the side of the bag, you don't have any pockets or anything. They're just kind of a flat surface here on the side. And then on the back of the bag, it pretty much mirrors what the front looks like, only minus the Lily Jade um, plaque here at the top. But you still have the two buckles, and then you have this big zipper in the back. Back here, I like to keep my wallet. I just have a small little Lily Pulitzer that I've been using recently. It's a card holder. I have all of my um, debit cards and credit cards in there. And then I have my NCO um, coin purse. And in here, I just keep whatever cash I have, which is nothing at the time. And I have coins. and then I just have a bunch of gift cards there. I think that may be all that I have back here besides a dime <laughs> at the moment. So like I said, I really like to use these pockets as catch-alls. I'm going to turn the bag back around and set the camera up so that you guys can get a really good view looking down on the inside of the bag and then I'll show you how I have everything packed up with that baby bag insert. Looking down at the top of the bag, you just have one long zipper that goes the full length of the bag, and when you open it up, it opens the bag really, really wide. You can 
see everything super easy inside this bag and I find that it's not a lot of fumbling around trying to look for things if you have it really well organized. So right here on top I just have a very light sweater. I keep it in here mainly when I go to work or if I'm out with the kids. It's so crazy hot in Florida and then you walk inside and it's freezing cold. So it's always nice to just have something really really lightweight to throw over your shoulders. So that's all that's sitting there on top. Inside the bag here, like I had mentioned earlier, I have the baby bag insert all packed up. So I have everything that I need for the kids inside the insert and then everything around the bag is for myself. So things that I would carry with me on a daily basis to work even if I didn't have the kids. So what I think I'm going to do is pull out the insert and then show you guys what the bag looks like without the insert in there so you can really see the amount of room that it has and then I'll go ahead and unpack what I have inside the insert. Attached to the insert here as well as on the side of the bag, you have these two metal clasps. So you can actually attach the insert more secure on the inside of the bag if you really want to. I find that it's not really needed in this particular rosy, just the way that it's um, situated as far as it being more of a wide bag as far as tall. So I never really attach mine because I like to utilize all the space around the insert. Those of you that are possibly cloth diapering mamas out there, I think this is a perfect bag for you because I find that there's just a lot of room besides what comes inside the insert, if that makes sense. So I know some of the other Lily Jades are a little bit more snug fitting with the insert, but with this one, you have so much room. It's just unbelievable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the insert here. As you can see, I don't have any troubles getting it out there. There's no like fumbling around, trying to grab it. And then this is kind of what the inside tends to look like. So I throw my jacket there on top and I'm just good to go. The bag still holds its shape really well and it's just super cute cute and slouchy. I just, I really love it. So what I have on top here is my planner. This is a personal size planner. Then I have my Swell water bottle. This is a nine ounce, but as you can see, you can fit the really big Swell bottles in here if you need to carry one that's bigger. I have my Posh Big Fat Yummy hand cream. This is one of the new fall ones that I've really been enjoying. It's um, Hello Sweetie, and it's a sweet and sunny sugared vanilla. It smells really good. Then I have my um, eyeglasses in there. And then I have my Lily Jade Essentials case and I have been loving this particular pouch. A lot of you had asked me to do a review just on this and I probably will touch on this in the coming weeks just to outline some of the features of it. But it is the same really pretty brandy color that the bag is. They also have it in black and camel, all the different colors of the leather that um, Lily Jade offers. But you have the plaque here on the front and then on the back you have one zipper pocket. And inside the zipper pocket I like to keep my headphones in there just because I don't like them getting tangled around in my bag so I'll sometimes put them inside a coin purse but this little back zipper pocket is absolutely perfect for them so then inside the actual pouch I'll show you how I don't want to zip them up there there we go inside this is the oval shaped one as you can see they also offer a rectangular shaped pouch I really like the way this one opens up really wide similar to how the Rosie opens up so what I have in here is just all of my mommy sunshine I have like my compact in here. I have a lip balm. I have my pill case. I keep in here a little travel hairbrush. You can fit a ton in here. I have a little um, posh lip scrub, a couple more lip products, a nail file, and some Lancome travel mascara and eyeliner. What else is in here? Another um, little lip butter hair tie and some eye drops. So there's a ton more room in here than what I had in here. I just really like it. It's super soft and the zippers are just really, really smooth. So I've been enjoying that pouch a lot. I think that might be everything I have packed up inside. Definitely throughout the week, I end up throwing tons in here. As you can see, it holds a lot, but it holds its shape well, so I don't mind um, carrying it if it's not completely full. Back here in this zipper pocket, I just have some feminine products inside a coin purse. I also keep back here a couple of posh samples if I'm out and about and wanna hand those out. And then I think, yep, that's all I have back there. But I did wanna show how it 
has a interior zipper as well as the Lily Jade logo there on the inside and a little key fob if you wanted to attach your keys to the inside as opposed to being in one of the outside pockets. When you turn the bag on the other side, I wanted to show you the pockets that are also on the inside. You have two little pockets here. One is a little bit wider than the other. And then I just keep a little lip gloss in there. I have this small pad of paper. I just really like this hanging on it. It says nothing is worth more than this day. So I got this on vacation and it's just a cute little reminder. I've been carrying it in my bags. Then I have a pen and then a couple more um, posh sticks. This is a new one that they just released and the perk stick. I always have these with me and then a small little Burberry travel perfume. So that is everything that I keep inside here for me if I'm out and about without the kids. Again, I end up throwing a bunch more crap in here, but for the purposes of this video and to kind of show you a more organized, packed up way, that's what I have in there for now. So that is the Rosie. Then I'm going to go ahead and move the baby bag insert over here so you guys can see what I have been packing up in here for my kids. Again, you saw how easily this went in and out of that Rosie. There's so much room and I love the way that this insert really organizes everything so I don't need a ton of pouches. I know where everything's at and it's just, it's great. So on the front of the insert here, you have four pockets. You have two here in the front and then two or another one behind it. Is it on this side? Yes, on this one. So in the front here, I just have a little notebook for my kids and then behind that one, I have a little pack and play or pack and play, play and pack. These are just little entertainment things for them while they're out. Then I have some wet ones over here as well as some wet eyeglass cleaner for my daughter and I who both wear eyeglasses. So that's all I have tucked inside those two pockets. Then on the side over here, I actually don't have anything in either of these pockets. This is where I had the swell water bottle in the rosy, so that kind of tucked in a little bit there on the side. Over on this side, you have two more pockets. I don't have anything in the front one, but in this one, I do have rolled up really tight a change of clothes for my two-year-old. So I have a little pair of shorts for him as well as his gator t-shirt packed in there. And then I don't think I have, I usually have a pair of socks in here, but I think we used them when I was out the other day. Then inside, or actually I'll turn it around and show you the other side of the insert. Instead of having two pockets here, you actually just have um, or instead of four on this side, you have two on this side. They're a little bit wider and a little bit taller, I guess, if you could understand that. But back here is where I like to keep the diapers and the wipes because they fit a little bit better than the other side. I have my wipe pouch tucked in here and this just has baby wipes in here. I really like this pouch because it keeps all of the wipes really moist and it doesn't tend to leak in my bag. So I've been using that a lot. I also have one, two size five diapers and then a disposable change pad. My youngest is two. So we have been using these as opposed to the actual change pads that come with the bags. But you you do get a machine washable change pad with this particular bag. So looking down inside the insert here, tons of room and more pockets. There's so many pockets on this insert. These two on the inside, I like to keep entertainment things, toys for the babies, and then some more snacks. So over here, I just have a little fruit leather. I have a go squeeze. Oh my gosh, did you guys just hear that? It's th thundering outside my house. I don't know if that's gonna come up on the camera, but that was crazy. <laughs> then I have a um, little protein bar for myself. I have some raisins and some crackers and just tons of snacks. I mean, you guys get the drift. It's like, it's like the snack pocket. Then over here, I have little toys for the baby. This is a small little jujube pouch. And in here, what he's been crazy obsessed with lately, which is so funny, is pirates. So we have this little board game that's called Who Shook Hook, I think, I believe is what it's called. And it has all these little pirate pieces. It's like a board game for the big kids, but my youngest has been loving them. So he calls them, he's like, my pirates, my pirates. So I've been putting these inside this little pouch because when we're out, he can just grab them and play with them. And they're really good entertainment for like sitting at a table or something. Keeps them occupied for a nice uh, while. So I have that in there. I have this little extra gum pack that has crayons in it. And then I have this 
little um, card game and a couple of cars um, for the baby. So it's kind of like entertainment for the two year old. Then on the side over here, I have an Honest Company hand sanitizer spray and my perfectly posh giant perk stick, which I like to carry because my oldest son tends to get car sick and he gets these like weird kind of car sick headaches if that makes sense so I rub this kind of on his neck whenever I have it with me. Over last but not least you have another little pocket inside the insert and I have some travel neat cheeks wipes and then you have a zipper pocket on the inside and in here because it's kind of out of sight out of mind I like to keep all of our first aid type essentials. They're just thrown in here so I can grab them really quickly if I need them. I have some allergy medication for my oldest who has really bad allergies. I have some eye patches in here for my daughter who does eye patch one of her eyes once a day. I have a small coin purse and inside here I actually just have some Publix um, trash bags folded up just in case there's something really messy or you just never know when you need them. And then I have a couple of more posh sticks. I have this purifier, which I like to use on their bug bites. I have a healer stick if somebody falls and gets like scraped or bruised. I also have some Dramamine for my oldest. It's just a ton of first aid, an off stick, a sting relief patch, a, another hair tie, some nail clippers, travel scissors, band-aids, you name it, it's just kind of in there. Like I said, it's like the first aid section of the insert and it works really well. So that's the insert with nothing in it. And that is pretty much it. I think I went through everything I had in the Rosie and then everything I have packed up in this insert. So I hope you guys found this review helpful and answered all of those questions that you have on this Rosie bag. I highly recommend it. I've been loving it. Like I said, I hesitate to say it, but it's probably my favorite Lily Jade bag. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.